The Angelo's emblem was designed by Angelo and Val prior to formally starting their business in 1968. The individual components of the emblem represent several underlying philosophies on which Angelo and Val based Angelo's fresh pasta products. Born in Northern Italy, Angelo was 19 when he immigrated to Australia in 1952. He started out finding seasonal work, picking pears in Shepparton, grapes in Griffith, cutting cane in Bundaberg and planting pine trees in Gympie. Whilst working on the Snowy Mountain Project in 1963, he received a medal for setting a world record in tunnel drilling, 552 feet in one week. After marrying Val in 1964, Angelo returned to Italy. While there, he saw a little shop selling fresh pasta and inspiration struck. In 1965, he bought two small pasta machines and brought them back on the boat to Australia. For the next few years, Angelo ran a restaurant in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley and used the two small pasta machines to make fresh pasta that he would serve on the daily menu. After the restaurant was sold, Angelo worked as a cook for Transfield at Swan Bank for a few months before he started working full-time making pasta. Angelo first started hand-making pasta under his house in 1968. Angelo's Fresh Pasta Products was born. Within approximately five years of starting the business, Angelo moved the manufacturing operation to a factory in Wandu Street, Fortitude Valley. The business continued to grow and in 1992, Angelo moved Angelo's fresh pasta products around the corner to their current site on Doggett Street, the Big Red Factory, a landmark in the neighbourhood. Angelo's has entered and won many awards at the Sydney Royal Food Show, including winning the Pasta Championship for the 100% Durham Wheat Fresh Pasta category in 2003. The Ethnic Business Awards recognises Australia's migrants who have followed their dreams and overcome hardship to accomplish well-deserved success. In 2010, Angelo was one of 15 national finalists from 600 national nominations. My name is Angelo Gazzarato and the name of the business is Angelo Fresh Pasta Products. We make uh, fresh pasta, ravioli, tortellini, and fettuccine. Papardelle, pizzas, linguini, lasagna. When I was in Italy, it was no work, it was just after the war, you know. It was a friend of mine in the employment office. He said, there's no job here. You want to go to Australia? I said, yes. Couldn't speak one, one word in English. <laughs> I can't do much now. Me and my wife, we went to Italy a honeymoon. There was a lady there was making fresh pasta. And I said to my wife, she said, you think it'd be a good idea to get the couple of little machine bring to Australia? We got two little pasta machine, we took the machine, put it in the boat, and then we come to Australia. Since that, I started working under the house making pasta. I was making the pasta, putting it on the table. A lot of, lot of delicatessen was coming, pack their own pasta to take it to the shop. I was not packing pasta for them. They was packing your own pasta. And I come there at five o'clock in the morning, go home at 11 o'clock at night. And my wife go out, take orders. And I had uh, my daughter. She was sleeping under the table. <laughs> the people demand all the time, and, you, and I said, no, you better, we better do some more, we better do some more. And that's why, we move here. Then the Queen came to Australia and the chef uh, ring me up. He said, uh, can you make me a lobster ravioli? I said, well, you give me the lobster, I'll make the ravioli for you. And that's what we did. We make a ravioli for the Queen. We sent uh, some pasta down to Sydney and we got a gold medal the first time. It was a father. He was getting a lasagna, and he went to Italy, he went to Rome. When he came back, he said, I better buy your lasagna. He said, in Rome, it doesn't make a nice lasagna like you. 
<laughs> That's right. I'm getting too old. Uh, well, probably my kids look after. <laughs> I have a donor and I need it in the office. And uh, Michael work with the machine. See, the thing is, because in Italy, I never had anything. I said, probably Australia give me a fair go. Angelo Cazzolato, ladies and gentlemen. To reach customers, Angelo's has created Pasta TV, featuring instructional cooking videos and recipe ideas to assist customers in using Angelo's products. Hi, I'm Donna, and welcome to Pasta TV. The Angelo's emblem continues to embody the essence of Angelo's philosophies. It brings with it the history of the business and the promise of the future. It appears on the packaging of every Angelo's product, Angelo's seal of approval guaranteeing that the product lives up to the enduring high standards of Angelo's fresh pasta products. Whilst we always appreciate public recognition through industry awards, our most precious recognition comes from our customer feedback and continued support for our fresh pasta products.